Hello and welcome. Today we are doing a question from Leak Code called Binary Tree Level Order Traversal. It's a medium. Let's get started. Given a binary tree, return the level order traversal of its nodes' values, i.e. from left to right, level by level. For example, given the binary tree 3, 9, 20, null, null, 15, 7, we would output its level order traversal, which would be a list of a list of three, then 9, 20, and then 15, 7. And I'm kind of blocking this right now, so I have another example over here. If we had the following tree with root 1, its left and right children, 2, 3, and their left and right children, 4, 5, 6, 7, we would output a list of lists level-wise. So the first one would be 1, and then we would do 2, 3, and then we would do 4, 5, 6, 7. So as you can see, it is level by level, left to right. And for the example that we had on the left right here, it would be a list of lists again. The first one would be 3, then it would be 9 and 20, and finally it would be 15 and 7. And we don't include null, just whatever values are available to us. So going back to this example, how do we want to solve this? Well, we want to see if there is a pattern that we can find. So for each level, is there something that we can see from the level before? For example, we have root 1 for our first level. The second level, how does it relate to the first one? Well, 2 and 3 are 1's left and right children. So that is left to right for the second level. And then 4, 5, 6, 7 are the left and right children of 2 and 3. So if we were to read left to right for level 2 and add their left and right children, we would make level 3. And that's essentially how we're going to be solving this. We're just going to keep track of our current level, the roots in there, read through it, iterate through left to right, and append their left and right children to our next level. And we just continue doing that until we have nothing else to do. So to code this up, we first want a check, so if root is none, we return the empty list. Otherwise, we have a queue, which is just a list of root, and this is our current level. Then we have next queue, which is the level after it, below it, so this is going to be empty. And in this case, we start with one, and this should hold two and three for the next level. And then we have level, which is going to store the values. Not the nodes, but the actual values that we will later append to our final output list that I'm going to be calling result. So while Q is not empty, that means we have something to process. I'm going to iterate through Q. So for root in Q. So for the first one, it's just going to be one. But if we were on the second level, we would iterate through two and three. I'm going to append the value of the root to level. So level.append root.val. And I'm going to make a check for its left and right children. So if root.left is not none, I'm going to append the left root to the next queue. So next queue.append root.left. And same with right. If root dot right is not none. I'm going to append that to next Q as well. Root dot right. And once that is done, I have iterated through my Q. I'm going to take level and append that to result. So result dot append level. I'm going to clear out level. So make it equal the empty list and set Q to be equal to next Q. Q. And set the next Q again to be the empty list. And once this is done, all I have to do is return the result. So a quick walkthrough with this example, we have Q being equal to the root, then we have next Q being empty. We have level being empty, and we have result being empty. So we start off, Q is not empty. For the root in Q, so for the one, 
we append its value to level. So I add one right here. And then if the root dot left and root dot right are not none, which they do exist, we add that to next queue. So next queue holds two and three. And then we add level to result. So I'm going to take this list, add it to result, clear out level. So level equals empty. Next queue equals queue. So take this, set it to queue. And next queue equals the empty list. So now we iterate through again, queue is not empty. We, the first root we get is two. We add its value to level. Add its left and right children to next queue, so that would be four and five. And we loop through again to now have root being equal to three. Add its value to result and add its left and right children to next queue, so six and seven. We are out of the for loop and we add the level to result. We clear out level. Add next queue to be Q or Q to be next Q and Q is now empty. So again, Q is not empty. We go through this one last time. For each root in Q, we add its value to level, so four. But we see for all of them, there is no left and right node. So we just keep looping through adding the value. So four, five, six, seven. And now what happens, we again take level, add it to result and making sure our level is empty, taking next Q, nothing was added here. So now when we add it, now when we set Q equal to next Q, it's gonna be empty. And now our result is what we were expecting, level, order, traversal, left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we return. So I'm gonna run code. Accepted and submit. and it is accepted as well. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.